everyone and welcome to my final variation guide for Reptile. This one is on Deceptive, highly regarded as his best variation at the moment from the recent patches and I hope this guide can show you why. Mainly it's the invisibility, but stealth is also very good. Even though it takes a while to get it going, it does have its advantages. One of the, the biggest advantages is when you are in any sort of stealth or invisibility mode, you won't take damage from the first hit that hits you. So that can be, it, it can be like really beneficial in wake up situations. And although you can go fully invisible from stealth if you hold three, it's not really practical to do that. So I don't recommend doing that because most likely you will be hit. You're, you're gonna be using the meter burn invisibility more often than not. And you can still see kind of where Reptile is because he leaves a trail. He leaves a trail of dust, he leaves, um, a slime trail when he slides or when he um, does the dash. His tongue is visible. On certain maps, it's harder to see, but uh, when he does force balls or acid spits, uh, you can easily see where he's at. He gives away his position pretty well with that. So that's a little unfortunate, but hey, I mean, I guess they didn't want to have invisible force balls. If you think about his mix-ups in general, though, he doesn't have anything that's reactable. Back two or back three, you're not gonna be able to react to it. So you don't need to be invisible in order to hit somebody with Reptile. You're gonna open them up in any variation. What Deceptive offers is the pressure and safeness from some of the mix-up options. So for example, the low and back three into claw is super punishable. But with Deceptive, you can back three and be safe with invisibility. Now here are some of the combos from back three with invisibility. You can convert in many different ways. Um, I'm not going to list the inputs because these are all in the combo guide if you wanted to see it. I only added a few things for combos, but really it's up to you. Whatever's easiest for you to do while you're invisible, that's really what I recommend. This is just the basic bread and butter combos. They're not the ones that hurt the most. They're just easy combos that I like to do because you can really convert for great damage and um, when people are trying to poke out because of the invisibility or maybe they're trying to armor and execute wrong, you're able to open them up like that as well. In the corner, you can do back one down four. So the conversion is something like back one down four, invisibility back one down four, slow force ball, neutral jump punch, forward four, fast force ball, uppercut, forward four, one, two, slide, down three, slide. <laughs> so it's, you know, it's, it, that's the conversion out of that. Now I want to talk about stealth knockdowns because they can be a really good mind game. As you saw, Reptile didn't take any damage there. If you do 4-4-1-2 knockdowns that leave them close, you are punishable by a lot of characters, but mid-range it's harder for them to punish, so the opponent may not know what's going on. But if you truly wanted to be safe, you could do a knockdown like 4-4-1 into the stealth. So you're canceling into stealth from 4-4-1 and Reptile can't even do Slippery Slide wake up. I mean, even if he tech rolls, which those wake ups come out faster, I'll show you here that he still can't punish you. But really what I wanna talk about is pressure. So on to the pressure. Forward four one into the invisibility has a hole. You'll see people like Chris G trying to jump out of this and go into something else, but you can't even do a down three out of it to close the gaps. So. Really, when you see forward four one into invisibility, if you have a fast enough poke, you could poke him. Uh, if he tries to jump, you're, you're gonna anti-air him with a down two. You could even neutral jump punch him. So you really can't let reptiles get away with this if you're you know, having issues with reptile. He can't even do forward four one two and jump over you. Forward four one two invisibility to a forward four has a hole as well, so that can be armored. The things that can't be armored would be 4412 invisibility into a down three. That completely seals up your pressure. So if you can do that frame tight, then that's great. A lot of times 4412 invisibility is getting uh, backdashed whenever you try 44 because there is a big enough gap. So you're gonna have to play with your opponent and figure out what they do to invisibility the most. So characters like Quan Chi that sometimes don't have a good armor move, you may have to do 4-2 to end up chasing their backdashes. A lot of times people may backdash just because they don't want to spend meter anyway. So let's just say that they're giving you a lot of respect and in invisibility. In that case, you can start going for your mix-ups. Maybe they don't want to risk a backdash or an armored move that may be broken. Some characters aren't fast enough. So mix-up options can be like invisibility into a back two, for the overhead or invisibility into the back three. Of course, if you wanted to spend more meter on the mix-up, you could, but let's talk a little more about pressure. 
forward three into invisibility for a down three is sealed. However, if you do forward three into something else, it isn't sealed. And of course, these holes can be blocked. You are safe, but then you lose your invisibility. So therefore spending a meter to not really get anything out of it. And that's not great. Forward four is the only one where you can do invisibility into forward four, one, two, and it is sealed. But on to the hard knockdown mix-ups. One of the best things about Deceptive is when you do a hard knockdown and you go for your mix-up options, you can do forward three or back three into invisibility as a low option on the hard knockdown mix-up and it will break characters that have slower wake-ups. So Predator, for example, has a slower wake-up. If you dash over and decide to go for the low option, you do have armor when you go invisible, so you will stop his wake-up and then you can full combo punish. Characters that have faster wake-ups, like Reptile for example, you don't have time to 4-3, but you can just do invisibility right after dashing over and still full combo his wake-up as well. If they don't wake up, think about it, you get to go back into pressure. And pressure is so great, especially with creeping slime ball on the screen. You can get so much accomplished by figuring out what your opponent blocks, opening them up, and eventually hitting them with some of the craziest stuff that Deceptive has to offer. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching these guides. Hopefully you learned something. Maybe you didn't. Maybe 10 years from now you want to pop in MKX and use this guide as a reminder of some of the things. Uh, of course, things could be patched, but hey, it's a good rough draft. Uh, thanks for watching, of course. Shoutouts to the whole Reptile community. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be back with matchup guides soon, so stay tuned.